This is Kristen, and today I'll show you how to add an event to the main calendar on the Kentico website. The main event calendar controls which events show on the home page of the website, as well as in the student experience menu and other pages throughout the site. Some departments have their own calendars, for example, the RLCs and the learning labs, but for the most part, all college events, including Sturgeon Bay and Marinette, are saved in the main calendar and grouped into categories based on their topic and location. This allows us to display lists of events that are in specific categories. For example, all student involvement events that are also on the Sturgeon Bay campus using an event widget like the one on the homepage. Please note, to add an event to the RLC calendar, follow the same steps, but starting from the upcoming events page within the RLC portion of the content tree menu. Log into Kentico by going to www.stg.nwtc.edu slash cmsdesk and entering your ample ID and password. Go to Pages and then click on the plus sign to the left of Events in the tree menu. You will see different year folders that are in the main calendar. If the year of the event you are adding doesn't appear, click on the word Events, then on the plus sign at the top of the tree menu. Click Event Year Folder. Enter the year of your event and click Save. Click Check In and Publish. If the year of the event you are adding is already there, click the plus sign to the left of it in the tree menu. If the month of the event you are adding doesn't appear, click on the Year folder in the tree, then on the plus sign at the top of the tree menu. Click Event Month Folder. Enter the name of the month of your event in the Document Name section and, and choose, choose the month from the Month dropdown. Enter the year in the Year field if it is not already correct. Click Save. Click Check In and Publish. If the month of the event you are adding is already there, click the plus sign to the left of it in the Tree menu. Click the name of the month you want to add your event to and then click the plus sign. Select NWTC event. You can now enter your event details. Event name is what will appear as your event title. Event details. This is where you can enter information in a free form about your event. Make sure you remove any outside formatting using the TX button. Here you can get creative, adding headlines, images, bulleted lists, buttons, and links. Event location. Please keep this to one line and describe the campus and location and room number. It is important to remember that this is a multi-location list of events. If an event happens only on the Green Bay campus, include Green Bay campus in the location to prevent confusion. Start date and end date. Here you can select a date from a calendar and set a start and end time. If your event is multiple days and you choose day one at 10 a.m. as start date, and day two at 2 p.m. as end date, the event calendar will assume this event runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on both days. If you check the all day event box below the calendar, it will assume the event runs from day one at 10 a.m. through day two at 2 p.m. If you have a calendar date that does not have times associated, you can check all day event so the calendar ignores the times. For example, first day of spring semester is an all-day event. If you have a multiple-day event that occurs at different times over the course of multiple days, the days will need to be added as separate events. This is also true of recurring events, for example, every Monday. Leave Flickr user ID, Flickr photo feed, synonyms, and best bet empty. Check Show on Homepage if it is important that all viewers of the site see this event. Please note that appearing on the homepage implies that anyone seeing the event is welcome to attend it. Check Green Bay, Marinette, or Sturgeon Bay campus, or all three, to denote what campus the event is connected with. For example, Open House occurs on all three campuses, while Root Beer Pong in the Commons may be scheduled only in Green Bay. Choose one or more event types by checking the boxes. Events can be for a particular academic cluster, for future students, and for enrollment services all at the same time. 
click check in and publish to save and publish the event.